Well, good evening and welcome to the back of the crafter. You've probably seen this before, but here we go. This is my tramping setup. This is my bed for the night. So this is a camp bed. You can go outdoors. It's a single folding camp bed. It's pretty comfy. It's not too bad. Uh, I've also got a blanket underneath. And duvet on top, some pillows. Not the best setup, especially when it's getting this cold. I need to invest in a decent sleeping bag. But the minute this will do. Now, oh, there's a big light. Blind everyone. Got clothes on the floor, everything, laptop and everything down here, and the snacks and drinks. So, I am tramping tonight, but ugh, I'm tramping after a pretty bad week. So today is Thursday. Um, yeah, Thursday. <laughs> and tomorrow I've got a collection in Northampton, which is where I am now. I'm about 20 minutes away from my collection. I've got a pick up tomorrow morning, shoots to Stockport, drop off, reload, dropping Bolton, reload, back to Stockport. That's my Friday. And that'll be my second day doing my own jobs for my customer. Every other day this week has been the CX. And it's not been easy. Now, mostly you might have seen my video the other day about how it's still oversaturated. There's still a lot more drivers than there is jobs. I know I said it the wrong way around there. But <laughs> I feel like it's getting worse. So today, for instance, I did a small job this morning. I bid on 20 jobs and my 20th or 22nd, I can't remember which one it was, job I won. Now, that's quite a lot of jobs to bid on before you win anything, if you think about it. And it was not the best of jobs. So it was 70 miles from... Blackburn to Derby for 85 quid. So it was 120 a mile, just, and not a great job. Not a great area to end up in. I was on the outskirts in the middle of nowhere. And obviously once I delivered, there was nothing, absolutely nothing anywhere near. So I had the choice, either head back towards Manchester, which wasn't that far, head up towards Sheffield, once again not that far, or head down towards Derby. I was closest to Derby, and at the time, there was actually quite a few jobs popping up out of Derby. So I thought, no-brainer, closest place, I'll start heading towards Derby. The closer I got to Derby, the less work there was. So I ended up parked up at Morrison's, just on the outskirts of Derby, um, bidding. And I bid on another 25 jobs. <laughs> so my aim was, I needed to get to Northampton, but... I wanted to earn some money, so I was willing to go anywhere south. I can always make my way back up to Northampton, empty or with a job. But if I can go south and I can earn some decent money, brilliant. So I quoted everything going south of me. I actually even quoted some stupid ones going into South Wales, which is nowhere near where I wanted to be or anything like that. So I was a bit daft there, but I didn't get any of them anyway, and I wasn't quoting high. I was quoting a pound a mile for one wheelbase jobs. And a little, a little bit lower for any other jobs because I needed a job. I needed to earn a bit of money. And in the end, I ended up driving an hour down to my tramping spot. Empty. Yep, didn't get a single job. Uh, I sat in Derby for three, you know, two hours at the Morrison's. And for that two hours, there was never more than six jobs available on CX at any one time. And that was from motorbike up to extra long wheelbase. There wasn't more than six. The one to go off, one to come on. There were never any good jobs for me. And I wasn't getting the ones I was bidding on. <laughs> so I thought, like the other day, I'll have a look. See how many drivers there are. So in the same 30 mile radius as I was searching for jobs, there were six jobs and a 100 and 14 available drivers and 193 unavailable drivers that are probably just passing through the area but still they could be delivering in the area and becoming available very soon that is no good for anybody so not very much work absolute ton of drivers 
nearly swore then. I'm not going to swear. So, yeah, absolutely dire. Luckily enough, I've got customer work tomorrow. But it's been tough recently. I'm not going to lie. I don't lie. The customer work is one week it's mad busy. The next week it's dead. And when it's dead and I'm relying on the CX, I'm struggling. I'm struggling a lot to make money. But when it's busy with customer work, I'm making enough money to cover the weeks I'm struggling, basically. But it needs to keep staying like that or it needs to go back to how it was last year. So this time last year, we had an average of four CX drivers and me out every day for this month. So it's a big difference to just me being out at the minute. Yeah, we subbed two jobs out this week. Uh, John, Tom, and Small Van did one of them for us, and the other one went on the CX. And that was it. Last week was pretty busy. The week before was pretty busy. But I always seem to end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. And especially Monday. Monday was a pain. So, what was I doing? Monday, I took a job on the CX. And about 20 minutes after I accepted the job and went to do it, one of my customers phoned and said, I need a job down to London. My size van, long wheelbase, four meter. Um, and that would have been perfect for me because I needed to be in London on Tuesday for a site clearance. But instead, I was doing the CX job. So I did the CX job. I ended up getting nothing back. I ended up trundling home empty. And then having to drive to London the next day empty because I couldn't get a job down. Sorry, I'm going to burp. So, yeah. This week's been pretty dire, and I've been talking to a few people, and there's a lot of people that are finding it a bit harder at the minute. It's the lead up to Christmas. This is supposed to be when it starts to turn and get busy. I'm not seeing it at the minute, guys. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm not seeing it. Also, there's the constant thing of, um, obviously, the big shippers are on the CX are now farming their own app farming their own whatsapp groups and that's how they're using the drivers so they took the drivers off the cx they're not putting the jobs through anymore they're just using their own own, own method of doing it which is similar to what i did with the whatsapp group when i was busy but i still put the jobs through the cx <coughs> but they never went up as live jobs so i'm just thinking is that also affecting the jobs is that affecting us as couriers, especially when we're running on the CX. And honestly, I need to have a push at the minute to find some new customers because the customers I've got are great, but they're very all over the show at the minute. Like I had a phone call last week saying it was going to be dead busy and nothing came of it. And then my one of my main customers they've got less work themselves so they've got more of their own drivers sat around doing nothing so they can send them instead of sending me or one of my guys so it's just the way it is at the minute i think but yeah i'm gonna have a big push shortly well i'm already started a big push get some new customers in and i think there's a lot of customers out there that could get a better deal from me so that's what's going to happen. I'm going to try and win some, uh, <laughs> win some work, right? I hope everyone's having a good day, good week, and has a good night. I'm probably going to be freezing cold tonight, but hey ho, it's what you do for the money. Have a good one. Please do like and subscribe. Bye bye. Now my camera won't go. Off. <laughs>